the Hellfire Doctrine, the Hellfire Doctrine, which came in through the Catholic Church, that tried to coerce people to put their money in the books, or you're going to burn in hell. We're told in Scripture that the Son of Man came to break up the works of the devil and to release or emancipate all those who lived all their life in fear of death. In ancient Israel, even kings of Israel were sacrificing their children in the fire to Moloch. And the father says in Jeremiah, that never entertained my heart. You've got these so-called Christians here promoting the hellfire doctrine, which the Greeks loved especially Plato. If I believed or was coerced to accept that our God, who is love, torments people who didn't ask to be born in eternal fire and torment because for a few decades of their life they must uh, get behind me. Moses said in Deuteronomy, I put before you now two choices life or death and you must choose life to stay alive you and your children and then you have this equation brought in by these so-called Christians you preach hellfire well what about Hitler is it justice that he's brought back in the judgment just annihilated yes it is let's go to the converse of this situation the parable of the workers that came in the field, you know, the 11th hour worker came in and got the same reward as those who came in to work in the vineyard in the first hour. I may have lost you here. We, we also missed this key point. The Father will correct all the evil done on the earth through the kingdom. Why should we worry if Hitler's going to be just annihilated rather than being tormented? What if Hitler was your son? Would you go and say, yeah, yeah, burn him forever, burn him forever? The word hell is a corruption made to the King James Version. The original English word for hell means it was applied to potatoes, where you put potatoes under the ground. Our Father does not torment people forever. There's an eternal punishment, not an eternal punishing. I would not even entertain worshipping a God who torments souls forever. I will become an atheist right here, right now. So beware of these so-called Christians who try to put this fear factor on you. There are two choices, as Jude wrote about this, eternal blackness, Jude wrote about this before Revelation Jude, or everlasting life in paradise on earth. Now you might wonder about your dead relatives. I lost many of my relatives who died young. They are neither in two chasms, heaven or hell. They are asleep in the grave, awaiting resurrection and their future judgment. It's not our business to know about their judgment, but they, when they're resurrected, they will face one, life in a new earth or annihilation simple simple Jude says the eternal blackness is reserved for them the dead are unconscious they're not in heaven or hell folks check my playlist on my YouTube channel about hell our God is a God of love and justice but you and I did not did we 
ask to be born. That's the key point. We will live forever in paradise on earth or be annihilated. Simple end of story.